Well, did you know that creating a TOPFIC account is a crucial step for accessing vital national services in Qatar? In this tutorial, I'm going to, you're going to learn how to create a TOPFIC account and register for a national authentication system. Whether you're a first-time user or looking to understand the registration process better, this video covers everything you need to know. Well, I will walk you step by step in the processes and all the necessary documents that are required. So if it's your first time, you're going to go to Google, you go to your browser, you go to Google, you type in NAS. When you type in NAS, you're going to click on this second link that has National Authentication System. And when you look at the link, it is www.nans.government.kata. So I'm going to click on this. When I click on this, it's going to display this interface as you see. So uh, what do I need? I need to register as a new user. So I'm going to... Well, when you click register, it displays this interface. So you select, you choose account type. I'm going to choose Qatari citizen and resident since I'm a resident, I'm not a visitor. So here, what you do, you type in your Qatar ID. Remember, your Qatar ID, it is so vital in Qatar. You shouldn't share your Qatar ID with anyone to avoid uh, uncertainties which may occur. So after filling in the Qatar ID, as you're seeing, you go ahead and you fill in your mobile number. So you have to make sure that the mobile number is registered under your Qatar ID for your account to be verified, verified or activated there and then. After you click on I'm not a robot, as you're seeing, then uh, after clicking on I'm not a robot, you go ahead and click on what? You click on continue. So if your Qatar ID or if your mobile number is not registered under your Qatar ID, your account will not be activated. You will have to call the call center. So after filling in the Qatar ID and the phone number, the mobile number, you click next. When you click on next, they're going to send you an OTP, a verification code on your mobile. So after receiving the message, you go ahead and do what? You fill in that message. You click on I'm not a robot, you click continue as you're seeing. So the process is not that difficult, it is very easy. So the second, now we're on step two, that is personal information. So under personal information, first of all, you select your nationality. I'm a Ugandan, so I put the Uganda. Uh, you put there the names that are reflected on your Kata ID. So my first name, I fill it there. My last name, I also fill in my last name. I don't have the middle name. So after that, I go ahead and fill in my date of birth. It has a date picker. So I just click, then the date picker is going to be displayed. I select uh, the day, the month, and the year. After, you select gender. After selecting gender, you have to go ahead and select the, what? the address, to fill in the address. So here, the address, you can get it from where you stay because every building has got its own address. So at the entrance, normally at the doorway entrance of the building, it's where you find where you can access a label that has got this information that is needed here. So you fill in the zone, you begin with the zone as you're seeing. After you fill in the street, so after filling in the street, you go ahead and fill in the what? The building number. So from there, you can leave the field for the PO box empty. Then you have to fill in your what? Your email address. So you should have an email address. And in this era, it's very difficult to find someone without an email address. So you have to uh, type the email address twice so you type 
the application doesn't have that option of copying and pasting. So for my friends who are used to copy and paste on this, no way, no way, no way. You have to retype the email address or enter the email address. So I'm, I'm entering my email address. I'm entering my email address. I'm entering my email address. I go to the retype field, re-enter email address. As you're seeing, I also do the same. I type again, no need of copy and paste. So it is just interesting. And uh, yeah, the application is nice. The interface is very good. So after that, you have to click on, I'm not a robot. So after filling in your email address, as you're seeing, I'm re-entering my email address. And you have to make sure that the, the email addresses, they are the same. They should not be different. So after you click continue, when you click continue, you go to step three. Oh my God, you're about to reach step four. So on step three, here we set the password. So the password, it should have a minimum length of six characters, minimum digits count of one minimum low uh lowercase characters count one so uh that's the password how your password should be so after filling the password you click on a motor robot then you click continue so when you click on continue wow they're showing your account has been created so my account is activated as you're seeing and this is your username my username is my kata id so that's why i'm hiding it so after you, that you click on login when you click on login you have to go ahead and fill in your username and my username is my kata id so i have to put in my kata id then uh, after filling in my kata id i have to go ahead and also fill in the what the password so you shouldn't forget that password and i usually urge you not to use a difficult password because you may forget and in some cases it may disturb you so after you clicking on a motor robot it will bring for you this uh, puzzle so you select circles with motorcycles then after you click continue when you click continue wow your account has been logged in so you have logged successfully created